Queen. Where's my iPod? I'm about to make this lady dance. Alright, music artist, two hand princess. Dance, 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 you better dance. Yup, dance I am, dancing up and down. Yes, I'm dancing, we is dancing. Oh, you know I'm dancing. Because she is ugly, she make me so fucking mad. Do 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 We gonna mambo like I did the other lady. We is mamboing up down the street. Yes, we is. Look at me. I'm mambo, mambo, mambo. Oh no, fuck it. We gonna tango. Yeah, tango. Doing that tango. Teabag your shit. Get some. Punch her, snake. Mm, kick you in your shin. Leave me alone. Can you dance, please, one more time? Please, for daddy. If you don't fucking dance, I'm gonna shoot you. I am not kidding. Push my damn buds, I'll blow you away. You asked for it. Mother oh! I'm dead. I'm hurt. Pimp down. And she is coming. Oh shit. Dun, 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 dun. You need to dance, you big stupid mate. Yeah, uh, 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 u
A weapon with that many decades of rage stored up inside it? Now that's a collector's item. How old was she? I'd say about 20. But she had years of soldiers' rage hidden away in that youthful body of hers. Soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers of Ake. A place that hasn't seen peace in a long, long time. She was captured by one side or another, and kept caged up like an animal, along with God knows how many other kids. Anonymous violence. Exactly. It's unknown whether her captors were with the government or the rebels. In any case, they got their kicks by abusing these helpless little kids day after day after day. That constant barrage, that battlefield rage slowly built up inside their bodies. Their minds. The kids tried to keep each other's spirits up, always clinging to the hope that someone would come to their rescue, barely surviving off of scraps of food. But those soldiers didn't stop. They called the kids parasites and shit-eating ravens. Beat them even harder. That is messed up. Then one morning, the soldiers just up and left, leaving the surviving kids to be eaten alive by the birds. Almost like one of those sky burials. One by one, their bodies were picked apart by Raven's beaks, until finally the flock came for her. But by some miracle, their beaks cut her bonds instead. And like that, she was liberated. In that instant, she was filled with an uncontrollable That's rage. That's messed up, so what happened is herself. the birds ate all of her friends and Raven's were full when they got to her. To pieces, and then went after the soldiers. And when she finally caught up with them, she waited until nightfall, like a hunter awaiting its prey. They say that when a raven cries, a man dies. And that's exactly what happened that night. She must have been boohooing her ass off. Cawing, she killed every last living being in the camp. Both the soldiers and the civilians they'd enslaved. In her eyes, there was no longer a difference. The cruelty her friends had suffered. The pain and humiliation she'd endured. Hers was the distillation of the rage that decades of war had imparted on those soldiers. Hmm. It was her strength. And her greatest weakness. You're something else, Snake. You managed to cleanse Raven of her rage. Yep, she no, seriously. Anymore. You're the seed of war. In fact, I'd say you might even be war itself. Draven. Maybe it's still too early to tell. You've still got half the B and B core ahead of you. Keep your eye on the ball, pal. Thank you for the nice story. You got the grenade launcher now. Woot! And her face camel, because I put her bitch ass to sleep. I should have shot her. I'm warning you now, that was the last fight of the chapter, and you're going to be watching cutscenes for a while, so enjoy them, because a lot happens. I have to apologize. The three vans that came out with us are decoys. Uh, the real one is floating down the river. Headed downstream. I managed to get in touch with the children. The Pix is safe. We're going to rendezvous on the riverbank downstream. Land and air routes are cut off. Oh, but there's a cruiser waiting for us. The Volta River is our only chance of escape. Oh, let's get out of here. Hurry. Good thinking. I don't need to feel the wind anymore. There's 
no need to keep lying to myself. I only get off my bike when I fall in love. <laughs> <laughs>